When, when I started my company, I lost my job for whatever reason, uh, hadn't been paid in three months, had zero cash, like no money, hadn't paid my rent. So I, had, I was getting evicted. Like I didn't notice, like I, I can't remember what, you know, what the timeline was, but I was getting evicted if I didn't pay my rent. And I'm in St Kilda East, you know, like I've got a two bedroom apartment on the you know, top floor. And, uh, you know, like I just hadn't been paid in three months. Like I guess like I've been making sales, like I was the best salesperson in the company. Like I, I you know, should be making like 15 or 12, 15,000 a month, I think, at the time. And um, yeah, like it really impacts your lifestyle if you don't get paid your commission. Like, like a salesperson is detrimental and it's not like you can just go out and get another sales job because it takes like two or three months before you you know like build up a bit of a reputation they start actually giving you some leads and stuff like that and so like i did not know what the fuck to do like you know and so i called my mum disclaimer like mom if you're watching like my mum is the most amazing woman on on this planet period so like she knows like she's given me a massive gift by doing this but like i said mum i need some money like you know um i can't be paid in three months i've lost my job i'm gonna get evicted she's like just panic stations eh? she's just like at your age like what are you thinking that like, you literally like calling me at 28 29 years old like sort your shit out no That was at the end of that conversation, you know, and uh, we laugh about it today, but like, you know, I called dad, dad, dad couldn't help me like that, you know, his, his own shit he was dealing with at the time. Again, like my dad is, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's just been uh, supportive in so many different ways and like, you know, he helped me with my education, which I'm eternally grateful for. Um, and, you know, very close to both of my parents and um, my sister and my little brother. And, you know, like that being said, like then none of them in Melbourne, you know, like I was there like on my own, like, you know, no job, like, you know, I didn't have that many friends here. Like I just, I didn't know what to do. And then like the sun was going down. And so like, you know, I went to turn on the light switch, right? Like not even thinking about it. Click, click, no lights come on. Check another room, click, click, no lights come on. I'm thinking, I'm not paid the electricity bill. Of course I haven't, right? This is the last thing I'd do, like, you know, when I'm trying to think of, like, how to, like, sort out this problem. So, um, I'm sitting in it, like, this, it's getting dark, and I got um, two extension cables, plugged them together, ran them down the stairwell of this apartment building, three-story apartment building, and there's this power socket in the stairwell, and, um, you know, I plugged them in, and then I connected it to a desk lamp, you know. So, like, I'm sitting in this dark apartment underneath a desk lamp with a notebook, writing, like, some ideas as to what I was going to do to get this cash and like the, all I kept, kept coming back to was like I've got to start a business, I've got to start a business, like I've got to start a business. So like that, that night I stayed up all night like I, I guess I, I was thinking to myself like fuck I'm on my own here like I'm really on my own here and it's kind of scary but then like I don't know, at some point, like, I was just like, I'm on my own, I'm on my own, and I got this, like, rush of, like, inspiration, like, it was kind of empowering. Like, all of a sudden, like, there was no net, you know, no safety net, like, no going back. Like, there was just, like, all or nothing, and it was kind of exciting. And, like, like I've never looked back since then, I kind of love it, like, because I think that safety net, like, that everyone thinks there, is not even real, like, it's not, I don't think it's real. I, you know, I, I think everything will be okay, I've got a lot of faith these days. Things have always worked out for me, but um, when, I, when the clock hit 8 a.m., like I just took massive action. And the funny, th funny thing about massive action is, like, you don't normally know like what you're going to do, but you just know you're going to do something. And so, like, I hit the phones. I knew I had to speak to customers, do what I was good at, sales. And so, I got through to this company, um, real estate agency in South Bank, and I said, "Hey, what I want to do is get your salespeople in the room this afternoon." And he's like, why on earth would I do that, right? Like, he's just thinking, who the hell is this kid calling me at 8 a.m., like, you know? And so I said, look, I'm gonna convince him to invest in your brand, you know? And so he's like, I'm curious, like, they'll be there. And he got like 10 or 11 of his salespeople to come to his conference room and I rock up and I'm like, okay, guys, the, you know, the world's changed. You need to invest in your personal brand. I'm like Googling a few of their names, you know, on the projector. And I'm like, you guys aren't controlling the search results. So like I gave them, a, I sold them a one page website. So if your name's like John Smith, you get johnsmith.com.au. 
uh, you get a LinkedIn profile and you get a Facebook uh, page and all of a sudden like you're controlling the search results and so out of the 11 or 12 people that were there uh, eight said yes six gave me their credit card details on the spot two and a half grand you know um, so I made 15 grand in my first day in business and BB Consulting Group was born and um, that's how we started and um, you know, a couple of weeks after that, like this business coach um, that I'm connected with, David Guest, who's uh, helped me with some of my business acumen at the start as well. Uh, he had this event and I invited my network and in return he would like thank me at the end of the event and say, you know, thanks for my sponsors, blah, 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 and Nathaniel, who's in online marketing. And I said, today, instead of like saying I'm in online marketing, just say that I'm a LinkedIn expert. You know, you know I do the LinkedIn training stuff. Tell them I'm a LinkedIn expert. If they want help with their LinkedIn profile, I could do that. And I was swamped, like 40% of the room, 50% of the room surrounded me and they were asking, oh yeah, I'm on LinkedIn, I don't know how to use it. Like, I'm on LinkedIn. Should I connect with people? Should I like accept connection requests? Oh, like, um, should I, uh, you know, connect with people from work? Like, should I, should, you know, all these questions. And no one knows how to use it properly. And like, David came up to me and he whispered in my ear, he said, the market is telling you what it wants. 